You understand? Okay? So, as late as possible, I'm gonna parry. Now I parry, I only parry. After that, I'm gonna step backwards. In my opinion, my brain works like, I'm a little bit too late, maybe. Maybe, too deep, too late. Maybe not, you can, you can connect, that, that's, that's okay, that's normal. But I prefer to be in one movement. So I parry and I step back already. So at the two steps, I put it in one, in one movement. So I parry and I step back. So I'm over here, I'm a little bit fast. So therefore, I, I choose for the inside low kick. The cross came, now we're gonna expand the combination by a body shot. I prefer to step body shot, the little shot, okay? Not a low hook, I keep my elbow with me, I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna steer towards his liver. In my mind, I think about, I'm gonna end up through his back. I'm not gonna stop. Even though we are training together, even, he, even though I know his elbow is here, I protect him, I still think, ah, I want to hurt him. Yeah, because the body shot is okay. If we shoot punch on the face while we're training together, I wouldn't allow it or I wouldn't do it, okay? But for now, the body shot, keep rotating. Yes, the stabbing movement where the elbow is close to my body and I keep rotating. The third one I want to tell you is that the hip comes forward too. So I'm gonna stab movement with the extra power from the hip. Then I pull my hip backwards while my hand goes back to my chin, to my defense. After that, I make a powerful left hook and I again step aside to make a crushy low kick. A powerful low kick. So I don't stay in the line. No, I'm gonna step outside the line. Uh, outside the line. A few advantages are you're safe over there, you're out of the punching line. Two, you connect to another spot instead of the side of the muscle. You're also gonna hurt his, uh, for, uh, the, the fourth part of his muscle. Number three, I have an extra option to make a second attack in a different angle. Number four, when I make a step outside or inside, there is a big difference with power. If you have give this movement, there's a lot of power. If I step into it or stay in the spot, I can't use that hip that much. And it's maybe not as hurtful as the other one. Okay? Keep in mind, when I, sh when I choose for a chopping low kick, like the hard crushing low kick, I always do it, I always do it when my opponent allows it. Because he already allowed me to make a full boxing combination to end up with a question low. If I shoot kick with a punch kick, I'll prefer to stay in the line just to be a little bit safe. Okay, do we understand? So we break down the first part. The first part is parrying one step at a time. Parrying and one step at a time. From here, inside low, cross. You see, I'm gonna bench forward a little bit. I go through my knees, my hand goes down, I rotate, I step, my hip comes in front, hip goes back, hand goes back, last hook, step to the side, boom, and I make the hard load. A little bit faster, so with wave one, boom, 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 boom. A little bit faster, boom, 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 and I'm ready to fight again. Okay? Only this one, number one. After that, we do the second one and then we go on to the other one. Yes? Make sure ready, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Sorry,